Interstate 80 in beautiful wherever the hell it is I am. It's another hot work day edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Hey everybody. Anyhow, what a jank in my chain today. Well, something I've discussed in the past, it's been a long time. Teacher strikes. That's right. Greedy teacher strikes. And I have some relatives that are teachers, actually, but I'm to a point in life, I don't care who gets offended by it. I'm not saying that your job's easy, but you're doing a good job, I understand. Now, normally I rant about the Scranton School District because they're just greedy as all freaking hell. Strikes like crazy, things like that. But, of course, Karma came around and bit them in the ass. They went, on, they went on strike like a year ago and really screwed up summer for the kids and everything. The kids wound up going to school so late into June and that. You know, because the, the usual things, we want more money and... Uh, we don't want we don't we don't want to pay anything into our benefits and we don't want to pay you know a little extra to our family's benefits you know we, we we don't want to pay co-pays for doctors and medicines and things like that because they deserve those benefits they went on strike and everything and they came to a temporary agreement that was expiring you know this school year the 2017-2018 school year and they were going to go on strike again. They were planning on it. I don't know if they did actually go back out or not. But then several things happened. One is the state published their annual report from the previous school year of how schools are doing. Scranton didn't even get any points. That's how low on the state's scoreboard they were. That's how bad that school district is. That, that's how much it shows. And I'm not saying all teachers of the Scranton School District are like this. Because there are some that really do teach. But for the most part, there are teachers who don't give a shit in that school district. Including things like counselors and that. And principals and vice principals. So that came out. So that, that really put a bombshell on them asking more for more money. Saying they deserve it. You know... The school district is failing. Big time failing. But they want more money. Even though the district is failing. Um. Anyway. And then another bombshell happened. Well, the city basically said, the school district basically said, well... Being that our, we had that temporary negotiation, which, you know, wound up costing us a shit ton of money, you know, well, we're over budget and everything else now, because, you know, you guys didn't want to give in and, you know, pay something to your benefits and things like that. We have no choice but to furlough or, quote, slash, well, slash lay off teachers. All because of their greed. Some of their fellow teachers lost their jobs and then they went for and got approval for increasing classroom sizes a little bit. Therefore, they never have to hire some of these teachers back or when people retire, they don't have to replace them because they now have the approval to increase the classroom sizes. You guys did it to yourself, you yam packs, but... That's not even the school district I'm yapping about today. This was in the news today. The Dallas area school district. I believe it was Dallas, they said. Up here. Um, has been on strike on and off for a couple years now with negotiations. Always extending the school year and shit like that. Because they too feel that they are worth it, even though they didn't write that great to the school rating for the state. And... They don't want to pay into benefits, and they want and they they are, don't want to pay more into their family's benefits. They don't want co-pays and shit like that. Well, what are these jam bags doing? Well, you know, because of the snow, 
a lot of schools are getting out this week and that. These jam bags are going on strike. They're going on strike, which will force the school year to, and graduations to delay. The school, naturally, the uh, stupid freaking union, they're, they're doing this, hoping that it puts the screws to the school district because families are going to be pissed off and upset, you know, graduations delayed and everything. And we made all these plans and all this other stuff, you know, and now the kids aren't going to graduate, whatever it is, this weekend or whatever the hell it is, because they're not going to have the full number of days of school in. And they can stretch this damn thing out, I think, for a week. Which means they'll come back in September. And after, like, the first week of school strike. Like, yam bags, come on. Realistically, people. Most people pay something into their benefits. Be it their own or their families. And we all have co-pays then. What makes you think that you are above everyone else because you're a teacher? That you shouldn't have to pay for your benefits? And you, you, and you should hardly have to pay anything for your family's benefits? That we, the taxpayer, have to support your family? It's medical. You know? And, and you, you, co-pays, you don't want to be involved with co-pays or things like that. Or, you know, they, you don't want to pay more than five bucks for a prescription. You know, you're getting prescription five, six hundred dollar prescription for five bucks. Okay, they want to raise it to ten. You're having a freaking bird. Same thing with co-pays to the doctors. They want to take like your ten dollar copay, and maybe make it twenty or twenty-five. You can't afford that. When the average starting salary is like fifty something, the average it's like fifty something thousand. You can't afford twenty-five bucks. Get out of here. And you say that you're really dedicated teachers? If you were really dedicated, that the money wouldn't be the biggest issue in the world. You wouldn't be doing this to the kids and screwing up their school years and graduations and, and everything. So don't give me and the public that bullshit that you deserve. And, and you're and you're you give your heart out. You teach your heart out to you. Don't give us that bullshit. And you out there, you know who you are. You do. And like I said, there are some wonderful teachers in a lot of these school districts. But unfortunately, for every one great teacher, there's like three yambags who don't give a shit. It's all about the damn money. I mean, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Even in the schools themselves. I mean, come on. When you have teachers and you have counselors, school counselors even, that are telling the kids straight out, you're not going to amount to anything. And if you think that's bullshit, no, it's true. Because my head, it happened to my oldest being told that she wasn't going to amount to anything, that she should basically just give up. Imagine that. Isn't that great for teachers and counselors to be saying? You know, these teachers that say, oh, yeah, we love children and you know, we were dedicated. And, and, you know, and you don't give a shit. Or you won't even help kids that are struggling with stuff because you automatically just brand a kid that they're not worth it, that they're not going to make it. So why should you go above and beyond if that child's never going to make it? It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. You should all, all be freaking ashamed of yourselves to even call yourselves teachers to have the balls, the freaking balls to sit there in these school districts and demand more money saying you're not, you can't afford to live on fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year when the families of these kids in your school district are living on 12, uh, anything from fifteen to 25000 a year. That, you know, and school districts that are failing, you know, and that. That takes some freaking set of gold freaking plated balls to even do something like that. I'd spit on you. Because you, you don't even deserve the respect. 
you're not dedicated to your freaking job of teaching kids, then get the hell out. You know what you're getting into when you get into that field. You went to school, you should fully understand how, what you're going to be making in that job and what it entails in that. You should. Don't give me that bullshit that you, you deserve more money. Look at that shit. If your school district's failing, you deserve ungats. You don't deserve anything at all. You should have freaking pay and things taken away from you for doing such a shitty job. And don't blame it on the kids because, yes, do you know what? There are some kids that are that don't care. Maybe because their families don't care or don't push their kids. But it's still your job as a teacher to give that kid a chance to try helping that kid. And the problem is a lot of you out there aren't doing that. You're not. It's not the kids that are failing in the school district. You're failing the children. You're failing the school district. That's what it comes down to. Now, if you honestly feel that you are teaching your heart out and you're doing the best you can, okay, it may be right, may be wrong. But I want all you yambags out there that go strike crazy like that to actually sit back and just reflect. Is there something else you could have done? Gone a little further? You know, then you could say, maybe you deserve. But don't sit there in a failing school district and say, you deserve to make more money. You deserve to have free benefits. Get the fuck out of here. Move somewhere else. Get, go get a different goddamn job. Go get a job like the rest of us where we have to pay into shit or have shitty coverages. Really? It's goddamn believable. I think, honestly, they should do almost like the way Reagan do with air traffic controllers. They should just fire all your asses. Just the school district's failing. See what classes, see what, what areas have the worst freaking things. You could pinpoint that, which classes and shit are terrible. Get rid of those goddamn teachers because there's enough young blood out there trying to get into the school districts. Now, they may or may not follow the same path and be terrible teachers. It's only, who knows, it's something to see. But maybe you should get rid of some of these idiots. That's all about money. And get people in there that really do give a shit that they really do have a passion to teach. And while you're at a school district, you know, get rid of the ridiculous things, too. This shit, you know, God forbid in Pennsylvania, you know, you move from one school district to another. Oh, my God, it's like tragic for your freaking kid. Sometimes your kid actually gets sort of left back in a sense. And things like that. It's so ridiculous. Really. And the best thing is the public, they, they, you know, they, they might say in little things, chat rooms and that, on the you know, talk back this and that, with the news stations and that, they're disgusted. How come you're not at these school meetings when they're having these meetings and shit? Like, how come you're not really protesting about it and voicing your opinion? on If, if you feel the teachers are doing a shitty job in your district and they're failing your kids, they're failing altogether and doing their job. You should be freaking vocal and voicing your damn opinion. Get them the hell out of there. Really? Anyhow, I'm Frank the Lunatic. Comment or something. Or send me fan mail. I approve this message. And that, my friends, for now, is all I have to say about that. Birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card.